Hey, every once in a while I came across something that's uh, just about darn perfect. And I love this setup here. This is a uh, Genoa 52. Uh, I don't know, three years old or something. And this is a dual raycore system for the uh, Yanmar engine. Uh, very clean, neat, uh, practical, and well set up. This is an aftermarket setup here. <clears throat> so the previous owner of this boat uh, had all the stuff installed. So a very uh, nice <clears throat> a dual raycore setup, 500 series, with a vacuum gauge. <clears throat> That tells you, um, you know, what gives you a tattletale needle <clears throat> and uh, set up here with a fuel pump right there in line with the fuel pump switch directly over the top of it, making it so unbelievably convenient to pump fuel into the uh, ray core if it should be empty. Then it has down here these cables. Uh, those are uh, water sensors, so even without looking at it, you can get alarmed if there's water. And it's also got the bowls removed. Now I know that's uh, an issue for fire prevention or, no, or fire protection, but I like to see the uh, fuel at the very bottom of the Raycor bowl. <clears throat> to me, that's very, very important. I look for water, I look for debris. So having this setup right here is about the best possible setup um, that I can possibly ask for as a delivery skipper because you always have to motor the boat no matter what you're doing. Alrighty, uh, the only thing I don't like is they kind of make the access to the uh, drain holes down here a little clumsy to get to stuff in the way so they could have uh, cleared that out. Otherwise, I give this a score of uh, A+. A plus. That's the way to do it. All right, this looks pretty calm, doesn't it? It's blowing about 25 knots. Wind's just uh, ramping up here. It's going to be blowing a gale tonight as we uh, approach Point Conception. So we'll be rounding Point Conception tonight in a gale. Uh, the seas right here are a mixed uh, sea of uh, swell and wind wave uh, up to about 10 feet. And um, uh, depending on uh, what combination you get, it can be a little bit steep. But it's not that not that of a, much of an issue right now. So anyway, uh, it's going to be a small footprint uh, gale. So the gale is going to just touch down, yes, have a small footprint around us. So this is not going to have the opportunity to stir up that much of a sea as we approach uh, Point Conception. So it's mainly just a wind issue. And you can see we have a very small jib up, and that's all we got. Uh, just a handkerchief. We're in no hurry to get the point conception uh, because we have a timing issue getting Santa Barbara in daylight uh, so we can miss the crab pots if we're motoring and um, and also the wind uh, tamps down right around uh, one in the morning at point conception just a little bit so our timing is good for that. Uh, so that's rel relative, uh, relatively uh, the most important part is just our timing to Santa Barbara here uh, otherwise, you know, we could we could speed up, of course, and go a lot faster than we are. We're on a Genoa 52. Uh, we could easily do, you know, eight plus knots in this kind of uh, weather with uh, jib main. Uh, reason we have uh, the jib only is because we have a novice crew, uh, a boat and autopilot, and we're basically uh, running dead downwind uh, at night in a increasing sea near Point Conception, and we'll have to jive that Point Conception to turn left for Santa Barbara Channel. So uh, none of that really works for us in terms of uh, trying to, you know, put max uh, sail area up, so, even though we're prevented. <clears throat> That's way too much to deal with uh, in the middle of the night uh, in those conditions. So very conservative sail plan, just a little bit of a jib and uh, taking our time, we're doing about uh, four to five knots. And the seas are driving through us, so these seas here are moving uh, rather quickly, and um, and we're not in harmony with the seas. If we were, we'd be going a little bit faster. So the boat should be going faster for these conditions, but the conditions are not that severe. So anyway, now you can see here we're getting pooped. Uh, waves are coming up um, underneath that transom uh, that gate, swim ladder, swim step, and that's what it looks like behind us. And of course, every time I put my video on it, uh, you don't see the big wave coming at you. So 
there are some 10 footers in this. Depends on when you get the mix. All right, so that's it. Simple. Keep it conservative. All right, there's no hurry. Uh, I'm not racing. And I got an owner and his uh, friends on board. And my main objective is uh, just to get there safely. Um, we could use more speed. Like right about there, we get a little splash on the stern. But if that's my only problem, then so be it. Okay, about a half an hour later, it's at uh, 18.45 or so. Um, seas are picking up. So before we had winds between 20 and 25, now we have winds uh, 25 to 30. And you can certainly see a difference. Uh, steeper, a little uh, more violent, uh, more white water, more white caps. So the seas are definitely taking uh, shape here. Now we'll be approaching uh, Point Arguello and Cape uh, or our Point uh, Conception on a uh, southbound uh, current that'll help us uh, mitigate the uh, larger waves. So that's also part of the planning, which I didn't mention. So um, yeah, it doesn't take much. Uh, I'm not sure what uh, fetch is right now in terms of our position, but. Um, the, uh, the wind pattern, the gradient winds, are starting um, in uh, Point Sur, which is uh, 100 miles or so north of here. And they started uh, picking up right around 1600, so right now it's 1845. So we're just seeing winds touch down this area. Now winds will accelerate as we approach uh, Point Arguello, because that's a point. You're going to have compression and acceleration of uh, winds there.